is Apple Care Plus even worth the money? Now, during this video recording, it is October 15th, which means the iPhone pre-orders will start tomorrow at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is 8 a.m. my time, Eastern Time. Make sure you keep in track of the time. Convert it if you have to. I was going to make a video telling you guys how to pre-order the iPhone 12 successfully, but basically last year's video applies to this year. Every Apple product has Apple Care. Apple Care Plus is where you extend the warranty. Apple Care is what Apple calls its warranty on its product. It's a one year warranty that covers issues and problems with devices like malfunction, power button, or a dead screen, or anything that fails due to manufacturing defects. You also get 90 day of free phone support. All of this is free of charge and automatically comes with your product. Keep that in mind if you buy a new Apple product, you're gonna get that warranty. And it's actually gonna show on your iPhone. If you go into the settings, it's gonna apply on the top that you have Apple Care protection. Apple Care Plus adds another year and accidental damage coverage. So if you drop your phone, you drop your iPad, you're protected. Apple Care Plus includes regular Apple Care, but on top of that, you get an extra year warranty coverage. And for the max, you get an additional two years. So you're getting two years extra for the max. And on top of that, you're getting two years of free phone support and one year extra for max. And of course you have accidental damage, except for the Apple TV, which is kind of weird. If you drop that remote and it cracks, Apple can't replace it because that's accidental. And it can get a little weird because for all Apple products, you only get up to two incidents of accidental damage. Uh, so there's a limit to that. So you can't just keep on going to the Apple store because you crack your phone. After those two times, it's like you're on your own. There is a deductible depending on the type of damage and the device. So for an iPhone screen, it's $29, $30, and it's $100 for any other damage. And quick little story, when I took my 2015 MacBook Air to replace the screen, because I have a pet bird, she kept on pecking the screen, and it just got messed up. So Apple was able to fix the screen within the week, free of charge. I didn't pay a nickel, and they also gave me a free charger because the charger was kind of getting messed up too as well everything everything they gave it to me for free even though you have to pay a deductible it is still way cheaper than paying the repair damages i'm gonna throw the prices on screen right now it's an arm and a leg if you mess up your iphone without any kind of warranty and then also apple offers the apple care plus with loss and theft protection now this is something totally new it was first introduced last year i believe or two years ago could be wrong but it was it's new now normally prior to this Apple Care Plus didn't cover any lost or stolen devices. So if you lost your iPhone or if it got stolen, you would just SOL. Apple Care Plus does not include the theft protection or loss. To get that theft and protection, it's an additional $100 on top of Apple Care Plus. Like, can you pretend to lose your phone and get another iPhone for like cheaper? I don't know. It can get, you could probably finesse that. I'm not sure, 100%. It's still way cheaper than buying a whole new iPhone. And mind you, this is only for iPhones, not available for the Mac or iPads or Apple Watches. It's exclusively for the iPhone. Now that we got that out the way, is Apple Care even worth the money? Here's my off the script opinions. For the MacBooks, yes, I recommend Apple Care Plus. Here's why you get an additional two years and the one year of phone support. So you're gonna have your MacBook for at least maybe five years or even longer than that. And you're gonna be able to utilize it because you have more protection for those years. So if anything goes wrong with your screen or the keyboard needs to be changed or the battery needs to be replaced or even simple as your charger, your MagSafe or your Type-C cable, I'm saying MagSafe, you are covered for those years. iPhones is a very weird thing because a lot of people drop their phones, they crack the screen, and for some people, Apple Care Plus is 100% worth it. But for me, I, I would say no. Just because you can slap on a case, a very well-made protective case on there, and it's not going to crack. Um, perfect example, if you pick up a Rhino Shield case, if you use my code Simply Pops, you get 10% off on all Rhino Shield cases. And especially seeing that 3D impact screen protector, you're not going to even have no problems whatsoever on your iPhone. You're 100% protected if you go with Rhino Shield. And yeah, I get a little kickback if you use my code, but I could just tell you guys from experience, people love the Rhino Shield cases. So I would say no for this one. And yes, there's other alternatives out there like UAG, Out of Box. You have so many alternatives. You even have sub cases. I'm gonna be giving away some iPhone 12 cases. Um, I have a bunch of them, but I'm gonna wait until I get my iPhone 12 to actually test them. 
So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see that video. Now in terms of the Mac desktops, that's going to the iMac, the iMac Pro, or even the Mac Pro, I would say no. The only reason why I say no is because those devices are stationary. Unless you're going to be moving around a lot with your uh, iMac or whatever the case may be, then maybe, but this is just my opinion, I would say no. Just because those devices are stationary, they're going to be on your desk, they're going to just be in one place. And the same thing goes with the XDR display. Apple does offer Apple Care Plus for the XDR. Um, like I said, it's stationary devices. I'm not going to say it's impossible to crack the XDR display or an iMac. It's just those chances are so rare that it wouldn't be worth the money spending on Apple Care Plus. In terms of the iPads, I would say no on this one, but it's kind of like a maybe. It depends on who you are. If you're buying an iPad for a kid, you may want to consider getting Apple Care Plus because if they drop that iPad, you're protected. They can replace the screen for you and you're just covered. If you're buying an iPad for yourself, you're going to take good care of it. You're going to be using it at home. Then I wouldn't recommend Apple Care Plus. I would save your money, put that towards the accessories such as the Apple Pencil or the Magic Keyboard. Because one thing with the iPads, everything adds up very quickly as soon as you start buying accessories that you need to experience the true iPad experience. I know I kind of, we're going to roll with that. Now getting into the nonsense products. We have Apple TV. This is a hard no for me. Just because this is a stationary product, you're not going to be moving around your Apple TV too much. And on top of that, you're not getting no accidental damage on the Apple TV anyway. Get like a little case for the Apple TV remote and you should be good to go. The HomePod, it is not worth it because that's stationary. Unless you have any sharp objects that cut the, the mesh of the speaker, the speaker grill, or the wire got messed up. But what are the chances though? The Apple Watch, I would say no, it's not worth it. Uh, you can get an Apple Watch case. Also, Rhino has those too as well. And you know you have so many manufacturers, like I think uh, Caseology makes a uh, Apple Watch case. You can roll with those if you really want the screen protection. So if you walk and you hit your Apple Watch against the wall, you're protected. The screen is not going to leave any scratches. But if you pick up an Apple Watch, a stainless steel one, you have a sapphire glass on the front, you that stainless steel, you're not going to even see the scratches whatsoever. Um, I don't really care too much about the scratches. I don't see it when the screen is on and the Apple Watch still works fine. It's on your wrist, secure, unless you brought a faulty Apple Watch band and it slipped off your wrist and it cracks, then you're gonna be tight. Make sure your Apple Watch is nice and snug, but also comfortable too. And the last Apple product, AirPods. I will also say no for this one too. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, maybe for you, it could be worth it. You're saving a little bit of money in the long run for replacing the battery. It's like you may as well get a new set of AirPods, it's time, but I still have the first generation AirPods uh, back in 2016. It still works fine. Uh, the battery life, it dies out pretty quickly, but it still works. What's tricky is the Apple Care Plus will expire by the time that even happens. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If it did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new right here with notifications on. If you guys wanna see the unboxing of the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, and I'm gonna be giving away some iPhone 12 cases, so if you're gonna be getting that, make sure you guys subscribe, and also follow me on Twitter. I put up some good pictures up there. All right guys, until next time, have a simple day.